Hello and welcome to the very first A Perfect Union podcast, one of our Human Up podcasts. My name is Nathan Gangadeen, uh, and I'm joined with my father, Ashok Gangadeen. Uh, I'm here at uh, Safe Studios, um, my uh, the studios for Human Up TV and Unum Being here in Sedona. My dad, meanwhile, is uh, joining us from Philadelphia area, a lovely little town called Gladwin, Pennsylvania, and he's coming from, from his home there. So we have been looking forward to this for a very long time. Um, so I'm so excited that we're, we're finally uh, doing our first podcast, which is, um, it's connected to the the huge production we just uh, did together over this last year, uh, which we have recently released, it's called 1776 Now, uh, Our Unfinished American R-Evolution, Revolution. And that has just been released in its entirety, complete with music. Um, nine episodes uh, of, of deep... Uh, in-depth exploration and education in the deeper essence and meaning of of democracy, not just for you, the United States, but obviously the United States being a primary lab for this higher level of of we the people on planet Earth. I often like to say that uh, America doesn't belong to America, but the whole planet. It belongs because America is a holy experiment for all of the people. That's why it's been known as, as a light that people are drawn to across the planet to come to the, the, the land of the free to, to fulfill you know, their, their, their journey towards uh, life, liberty, and happiness, which is, is equally open to all. We love, to, we love to hold that principle high in our minds and in our hearts, and yet we see today that we're, we seem to be profoundly struggling to manifest that, and, and there's so much division, and there's so much uh, strife, and, and, and countless names for all of the dysfunctions, be it racism and supremacy, or sexism, homophobia, inequality, um, you know, uh, economic injustices, and, and, and so forth and so on. Obviously, we can go on and on, so... What I want to really address today, and, and by the way, the name of this first, this first episode is The Promised Land. Uh, that's the name of our first episode because th that is the real thrust and drive behind what we're doing here is to welcome you to a higher embodiment of yourself, your community, your nation, the we, the people, uh, is the land of the free. It's a, it's a land of awakened human beings, uh, awakened, uh, rational beings, who are living in peace and harmony and holding that ideal, not as idealistic, but as the reality that we must come to as a matter of our survival as, as a, as a people. Um, and yet when we look at, at, uh, where we are now, it is so easy to be frustrated, jaded, uh, discouraged, just flat out afraid, and um, I get more and more of a sense of people feeling that, you know, almost what's the point? You know, why, why even bother? You know, in other words, we're in the 11th hour or in that final moment of the labor of the mother giving birth. You know, there's, there's a number of analogies we can draw from to more properly situate where we are in our, in our not, not just American journey, but our human journey. And understanding that principle of that, that, that moment of crisis, that moment of do or die, um, yeah, we often like to say it is evolve or perish. We're in an evolve or perish moment where when it looks like the darkest, when it looks like the scariest, when it looks like the most hopeless, that's when we can tap the, the deepest levels of hope, faith, and science, you know, deep science to help us uh, through this time, because we need as many of us not throwing in the towel and giving up and saying, ah, forget it. We need as many of us now as tuned into the energy of the promised land, the we, the people energy as, as ever before. And, and 1776 now, it's all in the name that for that show, 
Um, you know, the reason for that name is we can look at the the birth of the United States of America and and uh, you know the Declaration of Independence and so forth as something that happened all those times ago. We talk about the founding fathers and hopefully the founding mothers are being recognized too in that. We can talk about that as though. It's, uh, it's so long ago and, you know, now it's just, it's 2020, it's modern day, you know, those, those principles, as nice as they sound, are kind of like, okay, guys, get real, you know, this is the real world. And we're in danger of losing touch with the profundity and necessity of each of us as citizens understanding the deep science that they were tapping, our founding fathers were tapping, and founding fathers, fathers and mothers were tapping that and, and <clears throat> initiating a journey which we are not only still on, but we're in a way in the most crucial, beautiful moment of that journey where now each of us must step into our role as founding father, founding mother, founding person of, of the promised land, we the people. Land of the free. That is more now than even in 1776. And that's not diminishing 1776. It's really exalting where we are now, as opposed to, again, slipping into, ah, you know, that sounds nice, but it's idealistic. It's, it's outdated. You know, it's, it's like, come on. We don't even realize that we're in a way we're, 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 this has never really gone away, but we're, we're still lip syncing to a very old sentiment of might is right, to quote uh, somebody who uh, entered into a dialogue or perhaps an argument with Socrates 2,500 years ago against the, the, very, the very founding principles of we the people. You know, uh, truth reigns, uh, one nation under law, these profound principles were being questioned by the skeptic all those years ago. Um, Trasimachus, I think is his name, saying to Socrates, ah, you know, you're being naive, Socrates. We all know that might makes right, right? And we're in that, we're living that right now. We're watching it right in front of our very eyes. So that's just me doing a quick snapshot on how I see it, how, how this journey is going to look and feel is basically to... Uh, to um, catch us all up to where we actually are and not slip into the many pitfalls that, that, that the people are prone to in lieu, of, in lieu of a narration, a narrative, a higher narrative, which is what my father and I are seeking to hold for you in the promised land, for us to be the promised land together. You know, uh, it, it doesn't have to be way in the future. It doesn't have to be out of reach. Let's embody it now. That's really the energy of this. It's like, it's like if we're crossing to the other shore this whole time, I want to let, let's, let's hang out on the beach and party together. Let's have fun. Let's, let's really feel the joy and excitement and, and, and the importance, that wonderful feeling of purpose, deep purpose that each one of us as citizens, not just of the United States, but of the whole planet can feel by stepping into our true authentic nature and our true authentic power as protectors uh, and bards for the land of the free finally being realized so that it doesn't have to be anymore. I may not get there with you. We, we, we get, we, we, let's not just look to the future of getting there. Let's be here now. Let's be, we're, we're in it now and let's strengthen that together and let's establish that together and let's celebrate together and be the land of the free now and, and uh, no more mountains to climb, right? And, and thank everybody who did in the past all the way, not just from the conception of our nation in 1776, but through history. Because again, America, 1776 was already way down the road of a long journey of humanity. <clears throat> And this journey is bigger than any ideology, any one, uh, you know, religion or ideology. And we know that to be true. We know that in our hearts that the essence of, you, you know, um, united we stand, one nation indivisible under truth, under source, under reality, under, under, under the deep science uh, that unites us all, that is beyond all ideologies and yet is somehow all inclusive for all of us. We know that that's the essence, but we're, we're perhaps a lot of us are feeling like, yeah, but can that really happen? And my dad and I are here to say, not only can it happen, it is happening and you can join it 
right now and be a part of that. And, and it's a very exciting time, even as it seems like the house is burning down. And there is a kind of house that's burning down. Um, and, and in a way, it almost needs to. This moment we've reached now, this is extreme division and, and extreme corruption and, and just all of the things that make us just our, our hearts want to sink. Even in the midst of that, we can go, you know what? What's happening right now is good. It's necessary. We need to almost snap out of this daze that we've been in, this autopilot, almost zombie-like, you know, moving through life by rote is not the land of the free. We can't be the promised land. We can't, you know, you, you, you may have heard, uh, you know, vigilance is the, is the cost, the price of freedom. And of course, just like all of these sayings, they can be rendered in a kind of, uh, in a way that sort of makes them sound kind of trite or anemic, or we just misinterpret them. But vigilance is joy. Vigilance is awakeness. Vigilance is not toil and work or, or keeping your eyes peeled at night, watching, you know, making sure there's no enemies. You know, that kind of vigilance is a kind of vigilance, but we're talking about a more profound vigilance that each of us is responsible for, which is what? Be a person. Be uh, accountable to your, your, your essence as a human being. That's what Human Up and Human Up TV and the Human Up podcast and this podcast are all about, about kind of raising the bar on all of us, you know, uh, for what does it mean to be human? And that's exciting because a lot of people say, oh, you know, I'm only human. And that's, I understand why we say that. It's almost to relieve the pressure of having to be perfect. And I get that. And we're not saying we have to be perfect. But it also shuts the door on our, on our potential when we say, ah, you know, we're only human. It's, in other words, it's almost like a resignation and a, a, a giving up on realizing our true nature. So we want to open that door again, just like the opening song, you know, walk through that door. There's so much more to being a human. Let's human up together with this podcast. Um, that is my opening invitation to you in this first episode, the promised land. Uh, of our of our uh, a perfect union podcast, and before I hand the baton to you, Dad, to give your opening thoughts, um, I want to just speak to that title. You've heard a more perfect union, and and I, and we love that 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 uh, idea of forever moving towards because you can always, in a way, always become more aligned. Uh, the word perfect is a little bit sketchy because it's uh, perfection is not the kind of perfect that we're using. This idea of perfection, meaning like there are no, um, there, there are no mistakes. There's no learning. Uh, there's no, uh, you know, rough around the edges even, you know, no, we're holding real perfect capital P perfect is is an all-inclusive perfect. It, it, it's so perfect. It allows for all the diversity. The, 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 the word union comes from the word unum. E pluribus unum means in many one. And that one, the unum in that one, is an infinite kind of one, an infinite kind of unum, which is so, so infinite. It's not threatened by diversity. It's not threatened by difference. It's, it's, it, it's all inclusive. It's the essence of all inclusive. It's, it can handle, I mean, just look out your window, you know, look at the diversity of nature, look at the diversity of reality all around us. Obviously reality loves diversity. Humans got to catch up to that. We got to get the, we got to kind of upgrade our consciousness, our consciousness to, to, in order to be, we, the people, we've got to, we've got to kind of wake up to the, this deeper understanding of unum, of union, of oneness. And if we, if we don't have that, we slip into, by default, we slip into polarity and division and clashes of all kinds. It's not as tempting as it can be to point the finger at this person or that person or those people or whatever, or this this thing that goes on that we don't like. Uh, racism is really hot on the radar for, for a lot of people right now, but that's one of many symptoms of the same core symptom, which is again, this, this, this where humans have been laboring against this level of consciousness that has got us sort of stuck. 
and 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 what we know are it's like I said it's as though our deeper minds our heart minds are uh, calling us to a perfect union but we're hitting this barrier we're hitting this wall where is that wall where is that barrier well that's where where this comes in we want to we want to help you kind of get a sense of that not just in the culture but in your own in yourself because each of us is going to need to address that in ourselves. It's like getting the ultimate upgrade. We all get upgrades to our software, to our computers and all that stuff. Imagine a human upgrade. Imagine a, a, a software upgrade to the human being and, and, and getting uh, to, to our more true nature. And that nature is badass. It's powerful. It's woke. It's, it's uh, inspiring. It's inspired. It's purposeful. It's meaningful. That's the place we want to invite you to. So I know I've gone on a while, but I just wanted to speak to that title. We want to no longer uh, contribute to that feeling that a perfect union is out of reach. The, you know, a, a real perfect union is what is what we're uh, the essence of the land of the free. So, having said all that, that I would love to know your thoughts. Um, very, very excited to be doing this with you, and um, yeah, welcome. Thanks, Nathan. Beautiful opening. Thank you so much. So many rich themes you've opened up, and uh, the uh, the perfect union. We, 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 that title struck us after we released the 1776 Now, which for us opened a, a new space, building on all that we've uh, been evolving to across the planet for all these centuries. I call the wisdom teachings, all of the scriptures, all of the philosophies and enlightenment calling us to the Logos is a one name from the Greek meaning the, the light of reason, the source of all realities, the infinite presence, and that that is a call, and our wonderful founding father mothers uh, of this land, uh, this holy experiment, you beautifully point out this is a human experiment for all people. And in a wonderful way, the American version of the holy experiment, which has been proceeding across the planet all these centuries, because the, the, human, the rise of the human being, uh, Logos sapiens, you know, children of Logos, of Sophia, right? That's who we are. And we, we have had trouble seeing that because the stage of our you know, linguistic, rational development, wonderful as it is for information and processing information, we don't realize that that is not yet tapping the, the source of all information, the source of all our narratives and stories and worldviews and cultures and uh, it all comes out of the Logos. We're Logos sapiens. And so you beautifully opened up so many rich themes. And we do dedicate this series we're uh, launching upon now, this uh, regularly ongoing podcast, to Logos Sophia, uh, the source of all uh, wisdom and all life and all narratives. That is the Unum, the infinite Unum, as you beautifully pointed out. And if we are seeking, as we rightly, to find that common ground, that more perfect union, the, the, the path to that is to human up, as you say, to, to become officers of Sophia. You know, uh, each human, uh, each citizen, each person, we don't understand this as we are maturing in our rational gifts from the source, from Logos. We reach a point in our evolution where we need to become agents, officers, uh, and in that respect, uh, in the American lab, we have to become co-founders with our founders in this mature form of saying, I am, uh, uh, which is to become an agent and an officer of, of the law. And that is the promised land. You beautifully pointed that out. The land, the promised land is not a physical space, as you might see it in our more adolescent narratives where you physicalize everything and make it into uh, an object of some kind. If we think that land, that geographical space, right, that, that's important, of course. It's sacred. Every, every space is sacred and every place. Uh, but we, we have to understand that this sacred land is a land of our consciousness, the meeting of our minds and our hearts uh, and our lives by becoming Logos sapiens, that is a land of the free. That is a homeland. When we arrive to the source of our being, as you beautifully opened up, and I know that in this opening, we want to take a break after every 20 minutes or so, 
And uh, we're arriving at that point now where maybe uh, with your beautiful beginning, so many rich themes, Nath, and uh, I'm, I'm loving partnering with you. And uh, all of these themes that you mentioned, the, the coming home to that promised land, we're here now. After the release of our 1776, we feel space has been opened based upon the wonderful sacrifice of our founding fathers and mothers and all of our great men and women through the centuries across the planet who have been opening up and sacrificing to open the space for us to have a demos, a people, we the people. Uh, a, a person is a very high officer and we're on our way and it's in each of us. And you beautifully call that theme up. That's what we want to hold space in this uh, ongoing podcast. A perfect unum, a perfect union, a perfect space, a land of the free. And that's the fulfillment of the call of all human beings in the holy experiment. So why don't we take a break now and pause and catch our breath for your beautiful beginning. Thank you so much, Nath. Yeah, thank you, guys. Uh, just know that we're going we're gonna to keep this flowing for you. So, uh, And we also want to keep it, uh, uh, you know, on a uh, reasonable length time-wise so that it's not too much to listen to at once. But, man, we're just going to keep going. So if you're enjoying this, uh, skip on over to the, the second episode and um, keep on listening because we're going to keep on going. Thank you again. 